really hard to show from inside the house, but I'm going to give it a try. This separate pattern of two lines going through the sky, one lower than the other. But then <laughs> you get, that's towards the north. You turn to the south and it completely changes to that. Where you can't see anything behind the sky at all. But you see, there's this line right here. <laughs> that blends in to that. So, that over there is still looks like what's under that but what's making all of that so milky I, it doesn't make sense to my to my senses that all this is milky with a focal point at the bottom down there but yet it spreads across the whole sky and yet it's only milky at the bottom. Interesting. Huh. I'm going to go check some other windows. I'll put it on pause for a second. Okay, I'm back on in my north window. So this is the rest of what I was showing, wrapping around the lake. You got a bottom line, and then a clear opening, and then the canopy line. Ooh, that looks kind of interesting over there. But that means going to another window. I'll have to go check it out. But I'm, so then we'll go wrap around to the sun side and check that out. But my my mind is starting to develop a theory about our dome system based on a video I saw this morning. Oh, I just got blessed with starlings. I wasn't zoomed in though, guys. All right, let's go to another window. Okay, now I'm in my northeast window. Well, it's an east window, but I can look a little north. So here's the rest of all of that that I showed out of the southwest, going northeast. And then I always seem to find a common theme with that hole before it reaches into whatever else is being obfuscated. There was barely any, it took till, I would have to say after eight o'clock before it even got light in the sky here. And as you can see, that little bit of light is still the sun being quite down below that, all of that, or that other light, right? I'll try to get up high as I can. That's as, oops, that's really as much as I can show out of this window. It's funny that the light's under all of that cloud when it's still over here. Uh, in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Hey, well. <laughs> Everybody thinks this is the cupping of a giant planet. 
I don't know. Just looks like a lot of chemtrail to me. And then they hit it with energy. Because it's water. And water's properties can change in an instant with different kinds of energy. All right, I'm going to go take another look out the kitchen window and see what that looks like. Yeah, not much different than the dining room window. It's just one room over. Well, to me, that looks like two light sources. That's all I can say. Love y'all. I'm getting a phone call from a prayer partner. See you later. Much love.